you know, there's a million and one drills and probably more than even that. But it doesn't matter how many drills you do if you're not actually implementing them. So one of the things that, that we want to make sure is when a guy throws a jab, for example, you know, we get a lot of guys getting off the line. And that's fantastic. You didn't get hit. And sometimes you don't have time to move but to do that. Okay? So what we want to try to do is take the, the, the vantage point of when he throws that jab that I step. But now that I step, look at my leg position. I want to actually crash bone to bone, hammer fist, shot. So then in a semi real speed, I'm trying to take advantage of him going in and whoa, and look at, see how the leg already went out, bam, hammer fist and shot. So this is just one of many drills. So slow motion, this is what I'm doing. He's executing, I'm getting off the line and notice how far this is from me and I immediately need to act. So when I get off the line, I'm kicking that shin and before he does something here, I'm gonna hammer fist and go. Now, conversely speaking, and this is the last little bit of this, is building up that inertia and that torque that you need for the hammer fist to set up that last two. So when he throws that, that uh, one, boom, I'm set, I'm going off the side, shot, but watch the torque of my body. That right there, bam, is a shot, and look what's coming right behind it. Boom. So it's not pop, pop. It's pop. He gets hit with the hammer and this follows straight through. So just imagine steering a big wheel. One hand is glued on uh, three o'clock and one hand is glued on nine o'clock and they're stuck together. That's kind of what's happening here. Pop, shot and watch the hammer and this hand together. Boom. So that's the kind of torquing that we're looking to do. And this is just, again, one in the trillion drills in order to get off that line and make it productive. All right? Boom.